The following examples um, are examples of how to solve basic quadratic equations. Now, quadratic equations always when you have an x squared in it. To begin with, to do this problem, you have to understand that x the square root of x squared equals x. You can't solve one of these without understanding that. And the reason why is whenever you're trying to solve an equation, it's always try to get x by itself. Well, yeah, you get rid of the power of 2, so the way you do that is take the square root of x squared. Well, if you take the square root of one side of an equation, you have to take the square root of the other. Well, the square root of, in our problem, the square root of x squared is x, the square root of 16 is 4. But it's not just 4, because a negative 4 squared also gives you 16. So the square root of 16 is actually plus 4 and minus 4. So we write it as plus a negative 4. Plus and minus 4. Okay? So you can also write it as 4, negative 4. However you want to do it's fine, but the answer is positive 4 and negative 4 is your answer. Okay, the other problem, we take the square root of seven, both sides, the so square root of x squared is x, that was easy, and the square root of 72. Well, to do square root of 72, and remember we do plus or minus, we are going to have to simplify that square root. So we'll just go ahead and use the perfect square method. And so we look to see if 4 goes into 72, and it does, goes into it 18 times. And then we look to see if 4 goes into 18, which it doesn't, but 9 does go into 18. You know, 4 and 9 are perfect squares. That's why we're factoring those out. Well, the square root of 4 is 2, so we got plus or minus 2, or square root of 4 times square root of 9 times square root of 2, which is going to equal plus or minus 2 times 3, because square root of 4 is 2, and square root of 9 is 3, square root of 2. And then we just finally simplify it to plus or minus 2 times 3, which is 6, square root of 2. And that is your final answer. So the answer is plus or minus 6 square root of 2.